this is not just a big fat commercial for Ford trucks. This is actually the start of what could be the next revelation, a revolution and revelation uh, for the auto industry. Paul Gerke is here. Uh, you were able to tour the plant, and we've got a lot going on behind us. In fact, right behind us, you can see them assembling the new all-electric F-150 Ford Lightning. The work here never stops. When no. I first got to the plant, my question was, are you guys just starting assembly now? And they kind of laughed at me. They're like, no, these things have been rolling off the line for quite a while now, yeah. even if they're just going out today. And it's been a bumpy road for Americans working in the auto industry. A rough couple of years. We're talking about the pandemic. We're talking about global chip shortages. These semiconductors are things you need in order to build cars. The pandemic really changed the way plants operate, and it's certainly Certainly affecting the way companies acquire parts, including those semiconductors. But that hasn't stopped Ford from constructing this beautiful, state-of-the-art facility here in Dearborn amidst all of that chaos. This place is as shiny and new as it gets, custom-built for the evolving future of electric vehicle tech. This is not your father's assembly line. This is the future. Plant manager Chris Skaggs takes us on a tour. I think the best place to start is where we're standing right now, okay. because I heard this place was a parking lot not that long ago. How yeah. quickly was it built, and how yeah. the heck did you do it? Yeah, it took about a year to build the, the building, right? And then we've installed the uh, equipment for a while, but it was, let's go further back. Originally, this is the site of the Dearborn assembly plant. They used to build the Mustangs until 2004 when they went down to Flat Rock. Then that building was torn down, and it was a parking lot for many years. But right now, we're in the middle of the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center, uh, we're standing next to Trimline 2, where we're actively building F-150 Lightning. Since 2016, Ford has invested more than $7.7 .7 billion right here in Michigan, creating and retaining 7,000 jobs. The Ford Rouge Electric Vehicle Center broke ground in 2020 and opened this year. It's part of Ford's massive investment in electric technology and infrastructure that has since spread to Kentucky, Tennessee, and Texas. So Chris, tell me a little bit about what it's like to work in this plant. Oh, it's very exciting to be part of history, right? We're in the moment of building this big change for the company, for the country, and even the world, going from gas to electric. So it's very exciting to be part of that, and I think everybody feels that. Building an electric truck has plenty in common with building a gas-powered one. But the way they do it here is as cutting edge as it gets. Each workstation is ergonomically designed. Tools are custom fitted and dialed into precise specifications. There are no fixed assembly lines. Autonomous robots deliver parts across the plant, always careful not to bump into their human co-workers, especially when they're working right alongside each other. It's just a different type of robot. This is called a collaborative robot, which means we work with the robot. It doesn't do all the work. It has a skin on it where I can actually touch it and it'll sense me and it'll stop so it won't hurt me, so I can actually work in this area. So this is a new technology that industry is moving towards. And in this particular case, this is the largest collaborative robot in the world that we know of, and it sets our onboard scale system on the truck. Chris, we're on the assembly line now. Where are we standing? Uh, we're right before body deck. We've got frames coming in from chassis. We have cabs and boxes coming in from the trim shop, and we're about to put them together. This is what we call our NAV, our next generation ACE box. And ACE box is an acronym as well. It stands for Assembly Information Station. It tells the operator everything they need to do. Everybody badges in, so we know who's on the job, and we can custom set that workstation to fit them. Whether we have a shorter individual or a taller individual, it doesn't matter. We can fit the work to them. But well, what about this monitor behind you here with the time ticking down? Yeah. What's going to happen when that reaches zero? So <laughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't work, or reach zero. That's our <laughs> digital workstation tablet. We've got a timer so we can keep the operator informed on how much time they have left to make the, the units we want to make. The F-150 Lightning is currently the only vehicle built at this plant, but the place is designed for future expansion. It takes about one full day for a truck to be built start to finish. Ford is currently ramping up production to produce 150,000 per year. So here it is, the end of the line. What happens here? All right, we just came out of water test and now we're doing exterior inspection. So. We check the truck over, we install some closeout panels, we expect, inspect the exterior of the vehicle, and then after that we charge it and it's going to go to the customer. So you charge it right over here in the plant? Right over here. A level 4 charger charges it faster than you could at home. Okay, so that makes need, sense. We need that for a high capacity facility like this. Would you like to go for a ride? Would I like to go for a ride in one of these? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's go.
It's difficult to quantify just how this new tech is affecting American jobs, but at this point, we know it's not cutting them in any substantive way here. Ford says about 750 jobs were actually created when this plant was built. Now, for those interested in how the Lightning rides, you got to stick around. You get to join me on a test drive a little later this morning as we take it out for a spin on the rough road track, which is right here on site. One of the coolest parts about being here for a few days is just seeing how many of those Lightning F-150s are driving around on the campus. Enormous lots filled with them wow. that American people just want to get their hands on. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.